Today we shot my collection for 2018, which I'll be entering in the Australian Hair Fashion Awards. Today started early, and I mean proper early, 6 a.m. start. We had models coming in from various states. We had local models as well. Um, so we did it in two groups. We did a group of five to start with. We had three long looks, two short, and then we finished the afternoon with three more looks. So we had eight models. Jimmy. Yeah. 7.30, mate, come on. I shot with David Manor for the first time. Um, David Manor is one of the, Australia's leading fashion photographers. He is truly world class. Adam approached me a few months ago. Um, he's been on my radar, I've been on his radar for quite a while. Um, I guess we both had a mutual respect for each other, but the direction of both our careers are going, it was just a matter of time before our paths crossed. We started deciding on, on models and what we wanted to do. So it, it was this conversation that we started having and this exchange of ideas that led to a very, very powerful end result. Today's concept was to really, really create texture and produce contrast. Um, Adam's vision was to create iconic graphic looks that really pop out. Um, a collection of six images that show the variation of his skill set. I think Adam is uh, a purist when it comes to hair cutting, so he wanted to make sure that it was real hair. It was hair that he worked with and cut, styled and produced something that shows his signature brand and kept it beautiful and that's really important I think. Hi. Yeah, good, how are you? Good to work with you. Yeah. Wow, awesome. I can't take the credit for that. Six weeks of reboot? Yeah. Uh -huh. We didn't want it to be too heavy on because once Sophia shows you the clothes and what we're doing, it's probably going to be really, really busy. So it's up yeah. to you. You know, if you yeah. have some sort of input well, on I a couple of things that I'm very antsy yeah. is eyelashes. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, like sticking my eyelashes on yeah. girls. I think I've learned more today than I have in the last five years doing photo shoots. I had to let go a little bit. I had to learn, I had to trust the team to, to prep the hair and get it ready for me. And then I had to be here with the camera, ready to make those changes that bring that that, that special element, that iconic element in that image that just stamps right into someone's mind. I think it's important to have the right patience and the tolerance when working with hairdressers because the process can sometimes be challenging because on the day there are things that happen with hair with shapes, with textures that sometimes might not be right from the get-go. So you've got to come on, keep workshopping things on the day to get the best results. Yes, exactly. Bring them back but try them on. Yeah, yeah. also. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of a And it shows the neckline, which just gets steamed out. No, it just gets steamed out. Yeah. yeah. Ah, you've got love. There's no growth in your comfort zone at all. There's no growth anywhere but in uncomfortable situations and it can be unpleasantly uncomfortable but that is when you truly grow and every time I do a photo shoot I'm faced with a situation that makes me uncomfortable it happened today today we had a situation where it just wasn't working you know, I have to have an honest conversation with David it's like it's not working I'm gonna do this 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 and it's like bang you do it and all of a sudden you don't really want to be completely cutting someone's hair from scratch right in the middle of a photo shoot day, but I did it, it made me uncomfortable. And the growth that you get from that experience, I learned to prep better, I learned to back myself um, and not doubt myself. And I also learned that if I need to do that, it can be done because I did it. Hairdressers can sometimes be afraid of the environment that is photo shoots. You know, people are comfortable in the salon and they're comfortable with their clients. And when it comes to creating imagery and working with, I guess, a, t a team that's experienced in content creation, it can be a little bit daunting. And the one thing I love telling hairdressers is this. Doing shoots and doing hair for shoots has got nothing to do with your ability as a hairdresser. Your skill set as a hairdresser has nothing to do with the end result on a photo shoot. It's your ability to understand a two-dimensional image and how that translates hair is where the gap needs to be filled. And I believe if more hairdressers understand the power of silhouette, texture and uh, parameters when it comes to the face, and the 
I guess, the shape of the hair um, and how that translates two dimensionally, they'll understand how to work in this environment and succeed and prosper a lot more. For those of you who haven't watched a behind the scenes video before on my channel, I'd urge you to go back and have a look at the last ones to see that progression um, because I think um, you'll see that I'm growing. Um, so hopefully you will be growing from watching these and I'm growing from doing them. Um, and for those of you who have recently subscribed, um, I'm gonna continue to produce great content and by doing that with you guys, um, I feel like that I'm giving back and I love the comments you guys leave, it really motivates me. So if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, um, and make sure you leave a comment at the bottom because I actually do read them, um, and I read them with my wife, Michelle, so. You know, hairdressers need to give birth to their ideas, and one of the best ways to do that is to create beautiful collections that you can throw out there in the ether and see how it connects with people. The beautiful thing about what Adam's done is almost everything he has released into the digital world, people have really, really, I guess, drawn to, have been drawn to. It's important to really surround yourself with like-minded people and like-minded creatives. I believe hairdressers are artists. I believe hair is a, is a beautiful fabric, a medium to create. I want to share my knowledge with everyone. I think it's about building the industry in communities that are out of major metropolitan areas, that are out of areas where you get access to huge amounts of training and education. That's what my channel's about, is about bringing people together through hairdressing, and I hope that my channel continues to do that. Um, I won't stop, I will keep making videos while you guys watch and while you like what I'm doing, I will continue to make videos as often as I can because I actually know it's making a difference and I know that, not because I think so, but because you guys have told me so and for that, I say thank you.